Hey, Michael Griffiths here, founder of Referral Marketing Bureau, and great to have you on our Get More Referrals Today podcast. Whether you're watching this on YouTube at our referral TV station or listening to this on our Get More Referrals Today podcast station, great to have you with us. I want to talk today about what we call our four main channels. The four main channels that put more leads into your leads bucket, into your CRM. When you have leads in your CRM, you can then nurture them. You can then enhance your relationship with them. You can then show them the solutions to their problems. See, no one comes into your lead bucket unless they've actually got the problem which you can solve. So the people who come into your leads bucket are people who are looking for a solution. Now, whether they choose your solution or someone else's solution really depends on how well do you nurture, how well do you enhance the relationship with them, and how well do you show them that you have a solution to their problems. We'll leave that for another day. What I want to concentrate on here are the four main channels we use to put people into your leads bucket. That first channel is what we call our partners, our referral teams. So to have referral teams, we need to first identify who sells to the same people we sell to that we don't compete with, that we can create partnerships with. Who do we want to help grow their business because they want to help grow our business? Who do we want to create strategies with so that we can find ways to be able to pass each other more business. See, so the traditional way of referrals really doesn't work. The traditional way is, hey, let's go find somebody. We sit down for an hour. We have a cup of coffee. We talk about how we might do things. And when we walk away, nothing happens. I'll look out for you and you look out for me. And that lasts for about 24 hours before we're back into doing our own stuff. That's why we talk about the importance of having tools for your partners to promote for you. Things that allow you to collect data, someone's name, email, phone number, into your leads bucket. Having your referral teams promote your tools is a much easier way for them to generate new business for you. Sure, you're gonna have your referral partners listening out for you. You're gonna have them being able to have conversations for you. But what we want to do, which most people don't do, is ensure that we have easy things for them to promote that gives us more exposure, that allows us to have more people coming into our leads bucket. And again, when your partners promote those tools, the only people who are filling in their details are the people who want that sort of solution. So with our referral teams, the downfall of this is lack of communication and lack of taking action on a regular basis. I get life gets in the way, things get busy. But to always get a consistent flow of opportunities into your leads bucket, you need to be consistent with your partner channel. You need to be having regular conversations. You need to be following the set agendas that we talk about. Those set agendas allow people to do things for you. On top of then our partner channel, our next channel is our networks. How we stay in front of mind of our networks so that we get remembered. I'm amazed how many opportunities get created after we just send someone a happy birthday message. They'll get a happy birthday message and the next day they'll introduce us to somebody or they'll promote something of ours. You'll see them sharing a post on social media to their networks. So it doesn't take much just to stay engaged and front of mind of your network. That then gets your networks doing more things for you. Our social channel allows you to take people from social media into your leads bucket. There's no point in them just sitting on social media. 
the day that they decide to turn off that social media channel or that they're not interested in that anymore or algorithms change, you can't speak to them anymore. So you need to be taking people from your social channel to your CRM, to your leads bucket. And you do that by promoting your various tools that gets then people on your social to fill in their details and come into your leads bucket. The fourth channel, how do you get on people's podcasts, webinars, speak at people's events, and at the end, promote your tools so that people who need that solution will then come into your leads bucket. Now those four channels, they're good, but they don't work unless you work them. So what I want you to actually do after listening to this, set some numbers. How many partner conversations are you going to have each week? How many people are you going to get in front of from your network each week? How many times are you going to promote a tool on social media each week? How many podcasts, webinars, speaking events do you want to be doing each week? Once you understand and you put some numbers around things, all of a sudden, you're starting to formulate a plan. If you know those four channels, and it's really, well, let's just see what happens this week. There's no possible way for you to be able to, at the end of the week, go, we had a success or we didn't have a success. So what does your weekly numbers look like? across those four main channels. So when I look at our A activities for the week, speaking to partners happens on a Monday and a Thursday. And I'll spend 20 minutes sending messages out to partners, keeping relationships, enhancing relationships, and finding ways to be able to help each other. We talk to our network every single day. So let's go, we've got 20 conversations a day to our networks. We promote various tools on social media, one a day across the whole week. And that uses different platforms. So we know five times a week, we're promoting tools across different platforms on social media to drive people back into our leads bucket. Each week, I want two live events, whether it be a podcast, whether it be a webinar, whether it be a speaking event. So at the end of the week, I can clearly go tick, tick, cross. Why did we miss out on that? What do we have to do differently? And unless you're doing those sorts of things, we're still relying on I hope something happens rather than having set numbers that you're working towards. So use the four channels to fill your leads bucket in an efficient and effective way. A way that you can measure. A way that you can ensure that at the end of the week you can go, yes, I won. No, I didn't. What do I have to do differently? And that's what we want to be able to do to ensure that we're heading in the right direction. If you're just using the four channels hit and miss, you can't at the end of the week know whether you're winning or not. And it's not about whether you're winning or not, it's about whether you need to change things, do things differently. So what I want you to be able to do here is I want you to assess how well are you using the four marketing channels, the partner channel, the networks channel, the social channel, the live and leverage channel. And what are your key performance indicator numbers? Start small and then adjust after a couple of weeks when you know you can either do more or less or you've got the perfect numbers. 
It's doing those small activities that will continue to see you getting more leads into your leads bucket. But not just any leads, not just leads where people are trying to shop on price, people who are actually interested in the solutions that you offer because you've got the right tools and they're interested in being able to get help. The marketing channels are nothing unless you put numbers against them, unless you monitor those numbers and you tweak when you ask yourself, am I winning or am I not? And if you're not, that's fine, but what do you have to do different? That's the question. What would I change? And it might be how you approach the channels or it might be your numbers just aren't big enough. When you combine the marketing channels with performance indicators, you'll be amazed at how much, um, how much more traction you get, how many more people you get into your leads bucket. Hopefully it's been super helpful. Please reach out. Let me know what your numbers are. If it's the first time you're joining us, welcome. You can always get uh, great referral, uh, great resources on referrals at referralmarketingguru.com.au forward slash resources. And there's plenty of great things that you can grab from that particular page. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe. We've got great referral partnership network tips going out every single week. We don't want you to miss out on that. If you're not part of the referral network on Facebook, please go and join that group. It's a great group where we're constantly giving great uh, thoughts around referrals and partnerships, but more importantly, great people to be able to partner with and do some great stuff with. And if you're listening to this on our Get More Referrals Today podcast, please make sure from our Podbean host, you subscribe there so you don't miss out on any of our podcasts as they come out each week. Till next time, guys, take care and look forward to being able to speak to you real soon.